Texas lawmakers increasing the penalty for drug dealers found guilty of distributing fentanyl, especially if the dangerous drug leads to someone's death. That's right, and ABC 7's Kerry Mannix is live to explain how this will impact El Paso. Kerry. Rosemary, about double the amount of fentanyl was seized in 2022 compared to 2021 by the El Paso Division of the Drug Enforcement Administration, and that's according to the DEA. Now, they also say that fentanyl deaths rose from seven in 2017 to 75 in 2021. The DEA is attributing this fact to that fentanyl is a synthetic drug and therefore much cheaper for cartels to make and distribute across the border. DEA officials in El Paso are clear about the pills you consume. The DEA's message is the only safe pill to consume is one that was prescribed to you by a medical professional. You filled it at a licensed pharmacy and you're going to take it as directed. Outside of that, it's not safe. And the DEA says it takes just two milligrams of fentanyl to potentially kill someone. The amount that fits on the tip of a pencil. Reporting from Scenic Drive, I'm Carrie Mannix, ABC7. All right, Carrie, thank you for that warning.